very well. In today's video, I'm going to talk about tattoo regret. I've been asked to talk about this topic a couple of times throughout my YouTube lifetime. It's been a topic in my Facebook group as well. A few people have posted about it here and there. So I thought it would be time to make a video about regretting tattoos and tattoo regret. This video will be split into three parts. So there'll be three parts to this video, all in the same video. I'm not going to make different videos. I'll just put it all in to one video so it's easy for you guys to watch. And then it's, you know, there's topics in here that may interest you or may help you. So the topics that I'm going to talk about in this video are tattoo regret, new tattoo remorse, and not wanting to look tattooed anymore. So if we talk about tattoo regret first of all, tattoo regret is the number one question or the number one thing tattooed people will get told or asked. No matter what, if you have one tattoo or 50 tattoos, you will be asked do you regret any of your tattoos or you will regret those when you're older? All the time, I've had it countless of times from family members, from friends, from people in the street, from people I work with and customers at work. Like, I've had it thrown at me from all walks of life. Yeah, you get used to it. It's kind of like, oh, eye roll, here we go. Like, yeah, I know, I'll regret that when I'm older and no, I don't regret any of my tattoos. Like, can we not? <laughs> I don't want to go there. Like, this is boring to me. It's the same old song and dance. But it is a question or something you will get thrown at you no matter how many tattoos you have so of course there are people out there that do regret tattoos and I'm not saying it's a foreign thing anymore of course people regret their tattoos people my age have regretted tattoos people older than me have regretted tattoos people younger than me have regretted tattoos it does happen but it doesn't happen for everyone like it's not a rite of passage when you get tattooed like it's not a thing that happens as soon as you get tattooed you instantly feel regret and you feel like oh I shouldn't have done this or you know I know for a fact in 40 years time I'm gonna regret this I feel like most of us are responsible when we get tattoos I mean the people that watch my videos and stuff like we're responsible people we think about our tattoos even if it's an impulse tattoo we kind of think about it we get tattoos that we know we're gonna like in years time I do anyway I do put into factor of you know am I gonna like this when I'm older chances are most probably because the things I have tattooed on me are things I've liked for a very long time you know my Halloween tattoo I've loved Halloween since as long as I can remember again my perfume tattoo is something that I've liked forever horror films I've been watching horror films since I was like 12 years old so I get stuff that I know I'm probably not going to regret because I've liked them for a very long time and I'm hoping it's the same for you guys as well I'm sure it is the thing that I want to add on to this is tattoos are becoming more and more popular more and more acceptable throughout the whole of society especially in the western world I can't obviously speak for everyone country every location um but especially in like england and america australia some places in europe tattoos are a lot more acceptable a lot more people have tattoos um it's kind of strange to see someone without tattoos nowadays especially like on the internet on social media i feel like you know there's a lot of people out there that have tattoos and there's people out there that you would never even expect to have tattoos the one person that surprised me when i noticed that she had tattoos is, is actually um pewdiepie's girlfriend marcia she to me comes across as like clean and squeaky and like and i don't know just like overly girly but then I watched one of PewDiePie's vlogs a couple of weeks back and she has quite a few tattoos on her arm and I was like, oh my god, like, everyone seems to have tattoos nowadays, even the people you wouldn't expect to have tattoos, they have them. So they're becoming more and more popular, more and more acceptable, they're not so much of a strange thing anymore. 50 years ago, there would be nothing like this, like, there wouldn't be very many tattooed females, only people in sort of certain work. And armed forces and stuff like that would have tattoos but they're so more acceptable and mainstream nowadays so as they have become more and more popular and more acceptable I feel like the regret of getting a tattoo is gonna lessen more and I know from speaking from older people they say oh I regret my tattoos because not many people my age have tattoos I'm 40 now I have kids you know people at my workplace are always like shocked by my tattoos and I feel like it's a more of a generation thing that kind of generation didn't really grow up with other tattooed people they would be the rebellious ones um, but people like my age 27 and younger and maybe a little bit older they've sort of grown up around tattooed people it's not a weird thing anymore so when we're older when we're 40 when we're 50 60 there's gonna be a lot more tattooed people when we're older so it's not gonna be so much of a shock thing anymore I feel like the tattoo regret um, phase or saying is gonna lessen a little bit more hopefully hopefully that's gonna be the case who knows 
who knows. So I'm going to talk about the tattoos I regret. I don't actually have any tattoos I regret. Um, there's a couple of tattoos I have on my body that I don't like anymore. I'm just kind of like, I don't like these anymore. And if they were to like fall off my body, I wouldn't be sad about it. I'd just be like, okay, bye. But I don't regret them because they come from a time in my life where I was like rebellious and I was getting tattoos underage and I don't know, they had that kind of meaning to me. I don't hate them as such. Um, I just don't like them anymore. Like, they don't make my life miserable. But those tattoos are the ones on my stomach. I'll insert a picture or video clip around here somewhere. They're the ones that I don't really like anymore because they're just not that well done. They're just... The placement of them isn't great either. So yeah, if they were to like disappear, I wouldn't be sad. But yeah, it's nothing to get upset about. It's nothing to get, you know, angry about or, you know, make yourself, you know, ill over. You know, if you have a tattoo on you that you don't like anymore, you can easily get rid of them. I've had three cover-ups in my lifetime so far. All the bad tattoos that I had had gone. Um, mine is obviously a couple that I still have on my stomach. But they're so easy to get rid of. And if they're hard to cover up, you can have a couple of laser sessions. Laser sessions aren't that expensive anymore. They used to be really expensive, you know, 10 years ago or so. But they're a little bit more affordable now. Um, so you can easily get something lasered off or a little bit lasered off and then covered up with something bigger, better, or what have you. So, like, if you do regret a tattoo, don't stress yourself over it. It's so easily fixable. Even if it's a big piece like a big tribal piece up on your arm here. Eventually it will disappear if you, you know, stick at it, stick at the lasering or get a cover up, you know, it is easy to cover up a tattoo. Can it be a bit more expensive? Yes, either way you could be spending money, but you know, it's just one of those things. Again, it's not life threatening, you're not gonna die. Um, you just have something on you you don't like anymore. So yeah, covering up a tattoo or lasering a tattoo, off can obviously take time and it can take money but again it's not the end of the world there's a lot 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 worse of things going on in the world so it's not like a big bad thing like people when people say oh you're gonna regret that when you're older or tattoos are a bad idea they act as if it's like the biggest deal in the world but it really isn't like I was saying I have a couple of tattoos that I don't like but you know I don't lose sleep over it it's not affecting my life. I mean, maybe if I had tattoos that are a bit more visible that I didn't like, it may be a different story. Saying that though, the one on my hand here, you guys have seen it plenty of times, I don't like this anymore. It's not my favorite, that's for sure. I do not like it, um, but I know I can have a couple of laser sessions on it and then get it covered up. I'm not worried about it. It doesn't affect my daily life. And this is very, very visible. Like it's on my hand. There's no covering this up unless I wear gloves. So, but again, I like, I, I don't do sleep over it, I don't hate my life, yes, it distracts people from my other good tattoos, but, again, you know, it's just a little bit of black ink on my hand, like, I can fix this whenever I feel like I need to. At the minute I'm just like, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> you know, I'm not in any rush to fix this. If you ever feel like you're getting overwhelmed by the bad tattoo that you have on you or a tattoo you regret, just remember, it's not life-threatening, it's not hurting anyone you're gonna be fine. <laughs> so that's my sort of viewpoint on tattoo regret. If you regret a tattoo, I just say, you know, it's fine, chill. You'll be fine, you can fix this. It may take a while, it may take years um, for you to either save up or go through the process of lasering something off, but in the end it will go or you'll get something better. Like, there's no, there's no need worrying about it. Okay, so I'm gonna go on to the next topic and that is new tattoo remorse. Um, if you're not too sure what that means, it basically means when you get a new tattoo um, on your body, obviously, <laughs> and then you kind of feel like you're not sure about it, or you might not like it, or you're just you're just not 100% confident in the tattoo. You're just not sure about it at all. Um, this happens to the best of people. It happens to people that have, you know, hundreds of tattoos, or it can happen to someone that's just got a brand new tattoo. So say for example, you have a couple of small tattoos dotted about like on your wrist, on your ankle, on your back. It's nothing major, like maybe just like the size of like this or something. And then you decide to go for like a half sleeve or a big thigh piece. It's your first big piece and it's more visible than the rest of your tattoos. You can sort of go into shock type thing. It's not like major PTSD or anything like that. It's just your body goes into shock and it's not sure how to deal with it. So you kind of feel a bit funny about the tattoo. Um, so say for example you did get a half sleeve and it's a big colourful piece, it's your biggest piece you've ever got. You can sort of walk out of that tattoo studio liking the art piece, it's got nothing to do with the tattoo at all, it's probably very well done, it's everything you ever wanted, but you're just like looking at it and you're just like I'm not sure, like oh my god what have I done, like I should not have done this, this is massive, this is huge, this is a huge commitment, what have I done here? 
and that is completely normal. Honestly, it's just your body's way of dealing with something completely new. I mean, this can happen to someone with a small tattoo. It could happen when you get a face piercing or, you know, ear piercing. It could happen for anything. Sometimes your body just goes into shock and it doesn't recognise what's going on here. Like, this is new. I don't, I don't understand what's going on here <laughs> type thing. It's completely normal. I've had a few questions about it before and there's been a few posts on my Facebook group saying, oh, well, I've just got this big new tattoo and I really don't know about it. I feel like I regret it. It may feel like regret, but it's not. It's just your body, like, trying to figure out what's going on here. Like, your brain's in overdrive. It's like, oh, this is new. This ain't right. This isn't normal. Well, normal. <laughs> but it's normal, um, honestly. Um, I've actually had it before, and this will surprise you guys. I'll tell you a story about it, because we're all friends here. and we're... It's all about sharing and stuff on this channel. So, if you guys have been here for a while, you may remember I did a video way back. So, basically, I did a video where I put lots of temporary tattoos on my leg to figure out if I wanted leg tattoos, because I wasn't sure. I really wasn't sure if I was ready to make the commitment of having a lot of tattoos on my legs. Like, I was fine doing my arms. I'm not sure why. Arms to me wasn't a big deal. Legs to me is a big deal. So I put loads of temporary tattoos all over my legs and I figured out that yes, I do want my legs tattooed. I love the way it looked. I thought it looked really cool. I had leg tattoos. I had two thigh portraits. Obviously I still have them, but you know, they're there. But they're so easy to hide, in my opinion. Um, thigh tattoos, like shorts, can cover them um, for the most part. Unless I wear like mini hot pants or something, which is something I don't do anymore. <laughs> um, so yeah, like I really wasn't that tattooed on my legs at all. I then decided that I do want to get tattooed on my legs. I booked an appointment with Keely and the tattoo that I got from Keely was originally meant to go on my thighs because I still wasn't like 110% sure that I wanted to carry on to the bottom of my legs. So I was, you know, going in there thinking I was getting a thigh tattoo. I had shorts, no, I wore a skirt, sorry. I had a skirt on with shorts underneath, ready to roll it up and, and get my thigh tattooed. The tattoo was, you know, it's pretty big. I'll put a picture up here if you have never seen it before. And um, it's quite a big tattoo and it just wasn't gonna fit on my thigh anywhere without it being skew with or misshapen. So she said, oh, why don't we just put it on your shin? And I was kind of like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this is a huge commitment. And I was, obviously I was on the spot type thing. This is nothing to do with Keely, like she's obviously lovely and you know, you know me. I love Keely so much. But it was just like, oh my god, it was like that moment right there and then. I had to make that commitment of, oh my god, I'm actually going to be tattooed on my lower leg. Like this is it. Like I can either say no and walk out the studio or I can just go for it. And obviously I went for it. And it's the best decision I've ever made. Like I was just like, I'm so happy this is here. It looks so much better on my shin because it's like a, not a flat surface, it is quite curved obviously, but you know, you can see the tattoo in all its glory on my shin. But sort of when I walked out of the studio, I was just like, oh my God, what have I done? Like, oh my God, it's on my shin. Like it's got nothing to do with the tattoo. The tattoo was perfect. It was better than I could ever imagine. But because of the location, I was just like, oh my God, I've actually committed to being tattooed on my lower leg now. And it took me a while to process the whole situation. Obviously, within hours, I kind of just like forgot about the whole thing of me being tattooed on my lower leg. I was just like, I don't give a shit anymore. This is fantastic. I love it. But it does happen to people that have been tattooed for many years. I've been getting tattooed for 10 years. And I had that moment of, oh my God, what have I done? <laughs> but that obviously passed so quickly and I've continued to get tattooed on my lower leg now. It's the best decision ever. So that could be the same case for you guys. It may take a while for you to warm up to a tattoo. Even if you love the tattoo, the design and everything about it, the location can freak you out a little bit because it is a big commitment. But yeah, I thought I'd share my story on that. And obviously I love the tattoo and I just, yeah. It was just a moment of, oh my god, like, I think that's the first time I ever had a oh my god moment while getting tattooed, I think. I think when I first started my sleep also, it was kind of scary, because that again is a very big commitment, you know, starting your sleep, it's just like, oh my god, what am I doing, should I really do this? It's like jumping into a freezing cold pool. I don't know about you guys, I could never just jump into a freezing cold pool, I'd take five minutes to think about it. Like, I'm like, ugh. Ooh, like do I do it type thing so it's just one of those situations but if you have those moments don't feel bad about it as long as you like the design then you know you should warm up to the tattoo location if you're not sure about the design and then it gets tattooed on you in a location you're not sure about that's where the big regret feeling can come in um, but the unsure feeling that may be mistaken for regret is totally normal so yeah, it can take a couple of days maybe for you to really warm up to a new tattoo that's in a new location or it was bigger than normal and you're not too sure about it. But I guarantee nine times out of ten you'll end up loving that tattoo. 
um, it just may take a little while to you know come round to it and honestly it'll become second nature and you'll forget that you even have a tattoo not in a way of like oh my god I have tattoos it's more like you forget that they're there because they're a part of you you see them every day it's just like when you change your hair color say you go from brown to blonde you know the next morning when you wake up it's just the whole shock you're just like oh my god I forgot this was here but eventually d day after day after day you kind of just you know it's just part of nature it's just there <laughs> Okay, so on to the next and last topic is not wanting to look tattooed anymore. This is another topic of conversation that's been had in my group a couple of times. And that is like, do you ever feel like you just don't want to look tattooed anymore? And honestly, I will say, put my hands up, there are days where I'm just like, you know what, if I could have a break from being tattooed, that would be great. <laughs> not for any reason. I just want to see what I would look like with no tattoos. I don't obviously regret all of my tattoos. I love them. They are literally like my life. Like I love them so much. But there's days where I'm like, oh, I wonder what I would look like with no tattoos in this outfit obviously I could try and put makeup all over me and stuff and to see what I look like I feel like if there was a technology just to like erase the tattoos for a couple of days I feel like yeah I would take that opportunity again I would want them back like, I wouldn't get rid of them forever no way a couple of days just to have them off just to live a different life because when you're tattooed people do look at you differently you do get judged differently so to have a, a couple of days off from that I would take that opportunity for sure. Let me know if you guys would take that opportunity also. Again, I would want them back. <laughs> I don't want them to disappear forever. But that, again, I would say is pretty normal. I'm sure other tattooed people have a feeling of, oh, you know, I wish I could just be not tattooed for a little bit. I'm sure that's a normal feeling. Maybe it's not. Anyway, I'd love to know your guys' feedback on this whole situation. Do you regret any tattoos? Have you ever had a tattoo lasered off? Have you ever had new tattoo remorse? How long did it take for you to get over that? I'd love to know your guys' feedback and your stories about this whole topic that I've talked about. Anyway, I hope this video has helped someone out there somewhere. I hope it's eased your mind somewhere if you've ever had some of these topics um go on in your life or what have you yeah anyway if you've got any questions or anything as always leave them down below and i'll try and get back to you and i'd love to read your comments anyway until my next video i hope you guys are all doing very well and until then bye